fellow Americans, yes indeed, pull up a chair and uh, chill out a little bit with us here for the next hour. Jack Roper here along with special guest Jeff Roper, our oldest born. Miss Mary and I gave birth to this and but, I thought I'd bring him to thanks, the show Mom. this morning. Appreciate y'all hooking up. I was there too. Yeah, well you helped, yeah. You got TV hair this morning, you combed your hair. Well, the, you know, it's, I learn from the best. <laughs> you, you, you bring the hair piece with you at all times. Well, the we Silver Fox. Demarcus is off today uh, along with Megan. They'll be back and uh, it'll be a better show Monday because we'll all be <laughs> back together again. It's uh, 31 ever 11 degrees, a high today of 48. Everybody's sick. Uh, Louisiana and uh, South Carolina have the worst flu incidences. The highest respiratory illnesses in America. That's right. Happening right. You know why? It's probably because we love on each other. We just hug and kiss. kiss. And just we, swap, we, 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 sloppy we embrace at the holidays, and then you put your spoon in my macaroni and cheese. And I will continue because I'm paying the bills while you're in And town. my daughters are here, too. We're visiting for the holidays. So. Well, uh, again, Jeff is, uh, you, God, you do a morning radio show, then you do weather out in uh, Idaho. I learned how to do the weather years ago. Uh, yeah, so Idaho and Jackson Hole, Wyoming. You can follow me on Facebook and the YouTubes, uh, and uh, I'm at local, localnews8.com. Yeah, so if you ever go to Jackson Hole or Idaho Falls, that's, that's where I get up. That's a beautiful day. country out there. It, it is. It would be nice to be back near family, too. Well, you're here today. It's not, yeah, the flight, I, I'm out quick after you're, all the Christmas gifts. What's the best thing you got for Christmas? Oh, the best thing? Well, uh, Miss Mary gave me a, a photocopier to print prints from my telephone some lame little game uh, and you say something's coming in the mail when did it get here before next year you said there was something coming in the mail I haven't gotten it yet from you it's always important to have something to look forward to I think. well next yeah, year maybe so thank you can I thank Amazon for that because I didn't I didn't I didn't want, I didn't want to bring it on the plane along no. with everything else but I'm you, got, you, you got some nice gifts it's a new year and it's time to try new things, I did bring something for you today. Is it a Christmas gift? Hey, well, it's a new experience. And I think experiences are what people are into nowadays. I could deal with it. Uh, so I have a friend who just returned from the land down <laughs> under, and I thought it would be fun to try this. What is it? Well, you've heard of beef jerky. Yeah. This is a, this is a little different. This is kangaroo. Oh my God. <laughs> I like kangaroo. Jerky. Uh, straight from Australia. That's a kangaroo. In there? Would you Would you like Yeah. Would you like to? I'll try it on the Would you like to try? We've it? had millworms here. We've had dehydrated or whatever. Well, that's protein. Yeah, you sure. can do that. Hair I mean, is you, protein. You, you can. Eat. You need a hairball and get protein. <laughs> most, most you know, people, I just bathed my people, cat. The most other people day. don't want to. <laughs> you know, I just bathed my cat the other day. I still got hair on my tongue. <laughs> You may we, use that we, joke. Can we, you want to try this a little bit later on well, in the now. show? Let's gag it down now. <laughs> Why don't we stick around? Just This is called a tease. This is the art of, of oh, kangaroo <laughs> mid-morning mid snack. Plus, the, girl, the girls, girls, you want to try this a little bit later? No. We we'll do that no. in our middle segment. So, we we have right. a talk segment coming up uh, where we answer questions to our question of the day. You want to go ahead and hit them with that early? Can we do that now? Okay. It's all about being positive. What is the nicest compliment you've received? or maybe have given in the last year. I know it may be a month or so since you've had a compliment. Well, I was told to sit down and be quiet just recently. That's was that not a compliment? a compliment. That's not what we're talking about. Uh, how often do you give someone a compliment? You should do it every day, I think. It's, well, a, it's, a, good, it's a good process. Let me, let me tell you something. A guy told me he was in management with Milliken. This was 40 years ago. He had a radio show on my little first radio gig down in Union. He said, Jack, in management, we learned if you ever correct an employee, you come back with two compliments. Well, you like to do this. You ever done the sandwich in management? And when I managed the radio station, it was you start with something nice, and then you break them down, and then you back it up with something nice. It's like a it's no. like a, a sandwich. Sorry. I mean, you know, basically sandwich it between the two the two things. But we only receive four compliments face to face a week. That many? On average, yeah. I work at the wrong place then. Four. Well, you do a great job. I mean, can't yeah, my you, son, you have to say that. Well, what I, I mimic everything you do. I mean, even the hair. Forty percent of people wish <laughs> they heard more compliments. Well, uh, we don't give enough. I agree. Yeah, and the compliments we like to hear the most. Is that a wig you're wearing? I'm this not is your hair this looks so nice. This is a rental, <laughs> and I have to have well, it back I, to. I told, uh, I told Crabtree the other day. <laughs> I, I said. Crabtree, I gave you credit because he's retired. I, we yeah. moved back to town, got his band. So if you need to book a band, 
You're looking for the hits. Crabtree's got a band. He got, got a New band. Year's Eve open gig. I, but, but I've got, I told Tom, I said, Tom, your hair was always perfect on TV. I've got one of your uh, Crabtree snap-on wigs. Snap tights. I've yeah. got magnets under my scalp, and I just snap a wig on. It looks like Tom. Well, I borrowed this from Floyd's. <laughs> Mortuary. <laughs> yeah. Mortuary. Uh, the compliments we, we like to hear, you make me laugh. Yeah. Uh, you look young. Thank you. Oh, that never fails. And I like your haircut. Yeah. And the number one compliment women love to receive, I like your smile. Well, yeah, uh, and I've got the list of things that women like to hear, and men from the opposite sex. Uh, yeah, and that's one of them, smiles. And the things that men and women notice about each other first. I wish I had that list. Well, it would be teeth. Smile is one of them. Teeth. You have great teeth, by the way. Uh, yeah, personality. <laughs> personality. Know, like bad jokes. But the way you dress, and then, of course, your, your shoes. Am I right about this? Back shoes? in the booth, women look at men's shoes. Do they? Uh, that's a, that, isn't that a thing? I you wish know, I'd worn some today. <laughs> I appreciate you putting I'm the Legion's on. I'm wearing socks he gave me. He gave me well, and and you know, socks food. are another thing. I, I got tons of personality well, with the socks. You. I'm yeah. still waiting on your present. You think it'll come today from Amazon? You'll have to show it on TV when it arrives. There's it, a reason yeah. for you to watch next uh, week. Maybe next week it yeah. shows up. I'm oh, another tip it. in compliments. Yes. Use their name, Dad. What? <laughs> use their name? Well, number one, pay attention. Number two, use their name. Yeah, well, you can call me what my close friends call me, Mr. Wonderful. Enough of that. You know, you really are a cheap imitation to me. Uh, I am uh, Diet Jack. <laughs> Diet Cola. Fewer calories and worse jokes. <laughs> well, listen, Jack, it's good for you to sit in. I'm glad you were in town. No, it's my, me too. Thanks for having Usually I'm on this show when I'm out of work. That's usually the last time I was here. Remember you, that? Are you looking for a job? I, I mean, GSP, baby. Bring it on home. All right. Put your phone number up <laughs> during the show. 208-534-9957. Thank you very much. Anyway, hey, I've oh, got a special guest, one of us, now turned author, financial advisor, Tony Dale. Remember Tony? I, Tony used to do the weather. Ago. He wrote a thick book. Hey, Tony, got a thumbs up 